and anticipate. So that is something we thought would be a good idea to talk to about our friends at Psyche 74. And we uh, talked to them, decided to partner up, and now, after two and a half years of a very intense and fruitful collaboration, I'm proud to say that Max and Ableton Live are perfectly integrated. And I would like to show you a quick movie that explains what that means. Max comes into life as instruments and effects. I have a couple of Max effects here in the device browser, and I can drag one in, just like an Ableton device. This is the simplest imaginable audio effect, a gain stage. It is one control that adjusts an amplitude attenuation factor. Now let's make this a little more useful. We turn the gain stage into a classic ring modulator. To do this, we need to change the inside of the device. To enter the device, I click this button, and Max appears, showing the circuitry. Let's see. The signal comes in through this object, and it leaves the device through that one. Between them, there are two multiplier objects, one for the left and one for the right signal, which multiply the audio with the output of this gain control. Now, a ring modulator multiplies one audio signal by another, so let's replace the volume control with an oscillator. We won't be needing this gain control here, so let's delete it. Now we insert a cycle object. This is a simple sine wave oscillator that comes with mice. And we add a control that we will use to adjust the oscillator's frequency. Now let's make the necessary connections. We connect the cycle to the multipliers. Connect the control to the cycle. And now we are ready to play our remodulator. Notice that this all happens while the music kept playing in live. When we go back to live, we see that the device has changed. The frequency control is there, and it still works. This device works just like any other live device. We can store and recall presets, and we can automate and map the controls. Now let's look at a more advanced example. Here's a step sequencer. This step sequencer is a MIDI effect that was made with Max for Live. It has features like an adjustable step size. Shift left and right buttons to shift the sequence. Up to four sequences, I'll activate the last one here. And we can adjust the view of the self-made interface just like in live. Because it's a MIDI effect, we can use the MIDI notes from a clip to control what it does. When we take a look under the hood, we can see that it really is a max path. This step sequence is included in Max for Live along with a number of other instruments and effects which you can use out of the box or change and extend any way you want. Next for Live comes with a set of step-by-step -step tutorials that teach you how to make useful devices like this recent delay. Not only can we make new instruments and effects with maps, we can also create features that change the musical material in the live set. For example, here I have a function that reverts whatever MIDI notes are selected in Max MIDI Editor. We can also make new features that extend what hardware does. For example, the new APC40 by Akai. Normally, those buttons are used to fire clips in the session view. Now, I'm running them as a step sequencer interface. We have made a completely new setup using Max for Live.
Thank you. So this is going to be based on Life 8 technology too. We uh, are happy to say that it does not require an owner of Max or MSP or Jitter to use this. What you've seen is one software add-on to the Able Knife platform and it includes all this technology from Cycling 7 before. This is going to be available later in 2009. We have no details on pricing as of yet. What I can say is that existing Cycling 74 customers will be taken care of in appropriate ways. So, let me wrap the whole thing up and see how these ends connect. You've seen that you can now extend what Ableton Live does by creating new features for both software and hardware, dedicated hardware, and you can share these via the web effortlessly because the sharing works just as well for a music project as for extension, be it a hardware extension or a software extension. And we like this idea very much because it means we can connect makers with users, makers with other makers. It's going to be a very interesting situation as we look into 2009. And with that said, I should say thank you. And I would also like to uh, have David Sicarelli, the President and CEO of Second 74, and Jack O'Donnell, President and CEO of Akai Profession and their teams to come on stage and help us with these guys. We will be available for any of your questions through the rest of the show. And thank you once again for being with us this morning. Thank you very much. We'll be running demos with Live 8, Sweet 8, and the APC 40, as well as our new collaborations and partnerships all weekend. So look around and come see us. Here we go. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much.